All right, so this second question, uh, so this one, uh, it's same world. We are in R plus plus square. I mean, slightly different world. I don't want uh, zero vectors in it. I don't want any vector with zero in it. So it's all strictly positive world, uh, strictly positive real numbers. And then I define the binary relation as follows. Uh, the, the vector x, y is at least as good as u, v, if and only if this ratio is greater than or equal to this ratio. So it's basically, I mean, it's not lexicographic, uh, but you know, somewhat related, you care about the ratio of the first, uh, uh, first component. Uh, think of this as x, y as the final and the midterm exam. All right, and the final exam has a greater ratio. And so would you like to have a getting final exam, I don't know, 40 and the midterm exam 60 versus something else? And so you compare the final exam's weight. Um, so it's, it's a perfectly valid and reasonable binary relation. All right, so the same question, is it reflexive? Is it complete? Is it transitive? Um, I did not post those in your uh, uh, e-class uh, website, but I will. Um, so uh, the, the answers are there, uh, but uh, for the sake of argument, let's prove the uh, completeness, for example. So is it, com well, by the way, is it reflexive? I think that's pretty obvious, right? Because x divided by x plus y is gonna be equal to x divided by x plus y and for any x, y uh, in this set. So therefore it's reflexive. I think that's pretty obvious. It's just, you need to write it formally. Uh, completeness, well, I mean, um, you have to have either this guy is greater than this guy or the other way around. Well, sometimes uh, you may not able to find the example or do not want to spend time on examples. Um, I, I do it sometimes. I just prove it by proof by contradiction and, and see if I stuck somewhere. If I stuck somewhere and if I didn't make any mistake, that usually means that what I'm trying to prove is wrong actually. And so that means uh, uh, I need to find a counterexample, but all the steps I followed actually leads me to a, a counterexample. So what, what do I mean by this? So let's prove that this binary relation is complete. So yes, it is complete. All right. Uh, so how am I going to prove it? Well, by the way, I don't remember the answer. All right. So yes, it is complete. Let's say I want to prove this. So suppose, uh, for a contradiction, right? You deny the uh, conclusion. Uh, it is not complete. Uh, you should be uh, comfortable about taking negations of statements. So if something is not complete, what does that mean? That means there is, oops, x, y, and u, v in R uh, plus plus square such that x, y, at least as good as u, v is false. And, and u, oops, what is y? I'm sorry. Uh, u, v, at least as good as x, y is also false. All right? Okay. Uh, that's my assumption for indirect derivation. Well, next, my logical deduction. What does that mean? x, y, uh, at least as good as u, v is false. It means the following. What is the definition of x, y at least as good as u, v? It means this, x divided by x plus y greater than or equal to u divided by u plus v. It is false means it's not greater than or equal to, as simple as this. All right, so the, the, the negation, so this is false means the negation of this statement. So some number is greater than or equal to another number. If it is false, it means it's not equal to. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not greater than or equal to. Or next step, you don't have to show this. Well, if it is not greater than or equal to, it must be less than, strictly less than, right? Okay. What about the second statement? What does it tell me? Well, it says, remember, what is this uv at least as good as xy means? And then I'm going to take its negation. So uv means, uh, I'm sorry, u divided by u plus v 
uh, greater than or equal to uh, x divided by x plus y. So it's false means it's not greater than or equal to, or equivalently, it's strictly less than. Okay? So now, next step. Uh, well, I have these two lines, the first line and the second line. If you bring them together, it says, look, according to the, this line, this x divided by x plus y is equal to u divided by u plus v. According to the second line, it's strictly less than u divided by u plus v. And as we know, all these are real numbers, right? All of them are real numbers. And you know what? A real number um, cannot be strictly less than another real number and at the same time strictly greater than another number. Write that down. Once again, a real number cannot be strictly less than and at the same time strictly greater than the same number. So therefore, there is no such x, y, and u, v. But remember my assumption where there is some x, y, u, v in this uh, set mother space. And then I conclude that there is no, there is no such u, v, and, oops, x, y. So that's the part that I'm contradicting. Here I say there is u, v, and x, x, y, and I conclude there is not, it's not, it's not possible that there is some u, v, so there's not uh, u, v, and x, y. Um, so that's the contradiction. Um, so therefore, that's it. Therefore, therefore, uh, this relation, remember there's nothing special about x, y, and u, v. It's just arbitrarily picked. And so therefore, this binary relation is uh, I just skipped some, uh, you know, words there, is, is complete. All right, as simple as this. Any question? All right, so now let's talk about its uh, indifference curve because that's my ultimate purpose. So how do I find the indifference curve of this binary relation? Simple, once again, uh, Write the definition of, uh, oh, indifference curve for point one, one again, uh, all right? So one, one is just randomly I picked as an exercise. Uh, uh, the, 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 the methodology is, is very, very much similar if I, if I picked something else. So indifference curve of uh, one, one is basically x, y. I'm looking for from r plus plus square such that uh, x, y is indifferent to one, one. All right, so the same definition, but here, uh, you know, what it means is gonna be different. So what, is, what it means is the following. X, Y is at least as good as one, one, and one, one is at least as good as X, Y, right? This is what uh, this binary relation means according to its definition. Y you may want to, I mean, the, the perfect proof basically explains everything because of the definition of the binary relation. Right. Next step, what does that mean? Oh, I'm sorry, not because of the definition of the binary relation, um, because of, of the definition of a, a indifference relation. Oh, yeah. All right. And then from this, I know what this means. This means x divided by x plus y greater than or equal to one divided by one plus one. And this means uh, one divided by one plus one, which is by the way, equal to one over two, greater than or equal to x divided by x plus y. This is because of the definition of the binary relation uh, that we are using. What does that mean? That means x divided by x plus y greater than or equal to one half and one half greater than or equal to x divided by x plus y. I just combine them, right? Because this and this, so don't forget this and. So this and this must be true. So that means uh, x divided by x plus y is greater than or equal to one half and also less than or equal to one half. This is possible. I mean, this equal to sign is critical here. This is possible whenever, if and only if, right? We know this from, again, uh, very simple uh, mathematics. 
x divided by x plus y has to be equal to one half. If this is the case, well, then I know, uh, I know that all this will be true. Very good. What does that mean? Well, do the cross product. It's 2x equals x plus y, and then send x to the other side, x is equal to y. So what does that mean? That means the following. Guys, if you are looking x and y's where it is indifferent to one and one, where those x and y's are, are, are those that have same component in the first coordinate and the say, second coordinate. All right, so to be more formal, the indifference curve of the point one one is x y in r square plus plus such that x is equal to y. Examples, for example, uh, two two is indifferent to one one. Three three is also indifferent to one one. I don't know. Uh, 2 over 3, 2 over 3 is also indifferent to 1, 1. So there are like infinitely many uh, elements in this set, obviously. But this is the entire set of indifference curve. Then the next step is how, to, how do we draw this indifference curve? Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. Uh, this is actually nothing but a straight line. X, x is equal to Y straight line. So how do we, I mean, where do we draw the uh, indifference curve? Obviously on our x, y space, right? Because we are in a uh, r square plus plus. So zero, zero is not included, all right? So it's, uh, I mean, ignore that point. But the thing is, as long as x and y are equal, so this 45 degree line, I mean, so this is x equals y, all those, so one, one is somewhere here, one, one. So all those points are indifferent to one, one. So this is the, in, I mean, it's weird, awkward, but this is the indifference curve uh, of uh, one and one, all right? So if you change one and two, probably, you are gonna have another straight line. I mean, this is my intuition. Once I'm done with this proof, I actually learn a lot. Uh, I mean, again, it's experience. Uh, you don't have to uh, um, sort of uh, realize that immediately, but you can give, give another try where this time you don't find the indifference curve of 1, 1, but let's say uh, 2, 1, all right? 2, 2 is going to give you the same indifference curve, so don't, don't pick that one. Pick, for example, 1, 2 or 2, 1. So depending on whether you pick one, two or two, one, you're gonna have another straight line starting from origin, but it's not included. So a straight line is gonna be an indifference curve, all right? 